Can you be traumatized by the COVID-19 pandemic even if you didn't lose anyone? Something fun about trauma is that no one gets to tell you you can't have it. It's not something earned. It's something that happens to you. I was in the army and saw loads of death. One thing I learned is that the same thing can affect drastically differently depending on the day and your internal chemistry at the time. Something that might be reasonably considered intensely traumatic like clearing the rubble from an IED and finding a bunch of dead kids can roll of your shoulders. But a week later you see a dead dog and that makes you break out into tears and freeze up. The fear of the pandemic touched everyone in different ways. The boredom hit everyone hard. The uncertainty of the people around you. The constant news cycle reminded everyone that millions of people were dying and that any given moment you or a loved one could be next. Hell. It felt like a guarantee that tragedy would strike each and every household and there was nothing you could do about it. Just because it didn't happen to you doesn't mean you weren't put through a ringer. All this to say, your trauma is valid. Just because some had it worse, doesn't mean what happened to you wasn't bad or okay. Also, just because others have had it worse than you doesn't mean your feelings are any less valid. Someone always has it worse. I lost a lot of faith in humanity. It will never be restored. The whole world has been traumatized by COVID. IN 20,192,023 I was living in Wuhan. Witnessed the whole thing and haven't been the same since. I'm an epidemiologist didn't lose anyone directly. Absolutely traumatized. Yup. And it is nothing to feel ashamed about. You lived through a global pandemic which has claimed millions. The thing about any type of traumatic stress is that trauma affects different people differently. I'm a combat veteran. I've watched people die. I've been shot at close enough to hear the rounds go by. I've had mortars go off close enough to shower me in gravel. I've lived with PTSD for over 17 years. I fight crippling anxiety and I struggle more days than not. But, I don't fault people for having trauma responses for seemingly lesser things. Some of the guys I served with have no issues. And some took their lives to avoid the pain of existence in the wake of their trauma. Who am I to judge whether you were greatly impacted or completely unaffected by COVID-19? It just doesn't make sense to judge anyone for fighting the battles they fight. It makes more sense to help them fight that battle. So for you, here's what you should know. 1. Your anxiety, fear, and stress are all completely normal responses to stimuli. You're not weird. You're not crazy. You're perfectly normal. Whatever you consider normal. Point 2. You are empowered. You have the tools and resources to battle this. And you can battle it and win. Just so long as you choose to keep battling point 3. Every other person fights their own battles. So help them face their battles by offering them kindness and compassion. Edit. Get help if you need it. Counseling may give you tools to help you overcome challenges you don't know how to face on your own. Mental health is no joke. And you can find happiness and release from anxiety and stress. Certainly. We all lived through the phase where we didn't know how it was spread. Who was vulnerable? Hospitals rented freezer trucks to pile up the dead. That's traumatic for anyone. And I'd say we are still feeling the trauma and experiencing the residual effects. From more isolation and loneliness to a feeling of less resilience overall. I lost myself. Didn't read any comments here because I didn't want to be pushed to not make my comment. Traumatizing experiences come in many different forms you should talk to someone who can treat you. Appropriately if you feel traumatized. Help yourself homie. My guy. I had a better case scenario and developed suicidal tendencies over COVID. 
Never feel bad for feeling bad. You don't own anyone an explanation for how you're feeling. The way you feel is just as valid as anyone else's. I can assure you you'll start feeling better when you realize that it's okay to feel like that. Rock on homie. I hope you have a good night. Yes. I do feel the same way. I got such severe stress and I developed a TMD. My ears ringing etc. Jaw pain and I am always irritated. Something in me snapped. Of course. It was a deeply strange and upsetting time. It was a truly extraordinary event. Seeing a therapist might be the right move for you they can help people deal with trauma and upsetting incidents. No that's fine between being made alarmingly aware how little some people in your social circles care about a disabling disease, to how your local government may have abdicated all responsibility, to how the federal government is pretending, it's over, even though there's no sign of that and turning off any and all resources to keep yourself informed it's probably pretty possible to have some form of emotional trauma from it though i'm not a psychiatrist i don't know if it would meet medical definitions the people who have it the worst right now are going to be people who lost loved ones either through how they acted or due to the virus itself and the people suffering through long covid and being told by medical professionals it's all in their head that one isn't particularly new since the medical establishment is really bad at anything that doesn't bleed or seem larger than it ought to be but it's still a bitch. I think everyone is traumatized from COVID. Some more than others and in different ways. You're allowed to have trauma but don't let the trauma run your life. Of course. You still went through the pandemic. Had to shelter in place and had the constant worry of contracting it and what might happen. It's reasonable to have some degree of trauma from that. Telling someone not to be upset about something because others had it worse is like telling someone not to be happy because someone has it better. You feel how you feel and the pandemic was hard on us all. I lost my brother. Lost my job almost died in a car accident and came out with a sexual assault i'm here to tell you of course it's okay before any of the above mentioned things happen i had already felt traumatized your feelings are 100 percent valid sending you hugs to hearts if you enjoyed this video please check out our playlists full of similar content epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears please like share and subscribe.